welcome to Project 180 Online Friends. My name is Ms. Erica Smith and I am your Project 180 Program Facilitator. That basically just means that I am your teacher for the time that you are here with me during the session. So friends, some of you may be wondering, what is Project 180? I'm glad you asked. Project 180 is an initiative created by the DeKalb County government by way of the Human Services Offices of the Youth Services, friends. All it is that we do is we show you how to make sure that your social wellness and your mental wellness is up to par. We are striving to be able to allow you to know and to believe in yourself just as much as we believe in you too. We are centered around all things positive, and we want to make sure that you have the tools and things in your belt to be able to move forward in life as a great person so that you can manage your thoughts, your feelings, and your behavior so that you can be able to go out into this world and just be a great individual and make sure you know that when life tries to come at you fast and things don't go the way that you may think that they should, that you're able to counteract those negative thoughts and go into more of a positive direction. So today we're going to talk about how to cope and to be able to use our taking actions initiative into a more of a positive manner so that you can be able to use your body to be able to allow yourself to cope in a more positive way. So friends, all that means is that we're going to get a little active. We're going to use our bodies and we're going to make sure that we're able to know the different ways and the practical tools and the benefits of why this thing of our bodies is so useful when it pertains to our coping mechanisms. So some of you guys are wondering, Miss Erica, what in the world are you talking about? I'm glad you asked. So let's think about this recap of our thinking cycle, friends. So we know that our thoughts becomes our feelings, our feelings becomes our actions, and our actions are the things that we do towards other people and towards ourselves as well. And those ultimately make us understand who we are in a better way because that's how we honestly feel. So I want you to remember that you can counteract those things when they are negative and make them into something that are positive. So as you even see on the screen, it says thoughts creates feelings, feelings create behavior and behavior reinforces. Let me say that again reinforces your thoughts. So it's this big old cycle. So you got your brain, you got your heart, you got your actions, and it goes all the way back to your brain again about who you are as a person, friends. So today's lesson is going to center on the aspect of the behavior portion and the action of what it is that our thinking cycle is trying to allow us to understand. So we're going to get active today. I'm going to help you guys understand the benefits of healthy coping mechanisms and positive actions of good, when I say good, 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 physical fitness and exercise, friends. So those are practical tools that you're going to learn today in order to break the tension of stress to increase the positive ways and how we, yes, me and you both, manage our feelings towards ourselves and our emotions towards ourselves, also others and the world as a whole. So friends, are you ready? How about we do an icebreaker? So I know sometimes you're like, I've always gotten a little upset when a test comes. Have you ever been really down, really bored, disappointed, or just didn't want to do anything at all because something bad happened to you? Listen, friends, I understand. And also those other times where things just didn't go your way. You got a headache, you just couldn't sleep, you started eating, or you just didn't want to do anything at all. Friends, I know the feeling, and that is what we like to call, you got it, stress. Stress is the uncomfortable feeling, friends, that you have when your body reacts and responds to change or an adjustment of some sort. Lots of things can cause it. And so friends, even though you may be a child or a kid, whatever your age range is or whatever you like to call yourself, the you, we know what that is, you too are able to allow things to be able to be triggers that cause you stress too. We're not all exempt, but we all do have strategies in order to move forward. But can I guys tell you a secret? 
a quick way to break that tension is to make sure that you understand that you are allowing those feelings to be able to be in your mind so that you can think about what those are. You name those things. And then as you feel those things creeping up on the inside of you, you have the power to say, stop self, let's rewind, let's get this together. And what I like to call those are a good shake it off or get your wiggles out. So friends, those are things to be able to help refocus your thoughts to be able to bring them back and say, hey, no, no, no negative. We're going to go towards a positive direction. So think of something that may have caused you to worry or to be anxious. Now, it can be something that happened at school, like it could have been the first day of school. It could have been not getting the grade that you wanted to on the test. It could have been just an assignment that you had to study really, really hard for just to complete it. Or it could have just been meeting new friends or not really understanding who your friends are. And then at your house, it can also be, hey, I got all these chores to do. I have to basically talk to my brother or sister about some of their work that they're doing as well. And I don't know how I'm feeling at this point, but I do know my body is so full of tension. But friends, we are going to get our wiggles out together. So let's try a little bit, shake it off. You see down on here, you have three friends. You have our little woo friend. And then you have one that's going slow like the frog. And then you have our girlfriend. She's going side to side. So I want you to pick whichever friend that you want to reenact. That basically means that you're going to show me your best moves like our friends down below. You can do it however fast. You can do however slow that you want to do it. So, friends, stand up. Are you guys standing? Give me a big yes. All right. So, on the count of three, I want you to do your moves and shake it out all the way until I count down from five. On the count of three, one, two, three. Woo, let me see those moves in five. Yes, four. Okay, three. Yes, two. And one. Wow, friends, I did not know you had moves like that. You are the bomb.com. So, guys, our goal for all of that is to be able to make sure that you understand the benefits and the outcomes of coping through action. Now that you see that you got up and moved, you are feeling a little bit better than what you did before, just like our good old pup here. So guys, I want you to have a seat, okay? And get your listening ears back on and make sure that you're paying attention and get your bubbles in your, that's right, in your mouth. So you see our good friend over here before Project 180, he was bored, he was a little sad and down in the dumps, oh, it was the negative feelings, but after Project 180 showed that person how to be able to cope, he became positive because he got up out his seat, he took a walk, got in that car with his owner, and said, hey, I'm going to get moving, so now he's feeling a little bit better. Friends, that is all that we're trying to tell you today is when you get that body moving, when you get going, you are able to change those negative thoughts to something that are positive because our best and one of our most favorite coping mechanism skills is to be able to do those through actions with your physical body and with exercise, friends. So you guys are probably wondering, Miss Erica, what is this coping word that you keep saying? I'm glad you guys asked, and I'm glad you'll be able to see how you can make your own coping toolbox too. So Coping is just these tools and these things that I'm trying to tell you and that you've probably already heard before, but just didn't understand what it was to properly handle your negative emotions and all those different difficult situations that come up. There are infinity, ginormous amount of ways to cope, but I'm going to show you those cool ways to cope with your, you got it, your body. Let's get started. So. Today, friends, we are going to focus on our tension releasers. Tension releasers are when things build up and then you let them go through your actions. That's the area that you want to focus on. So you can do things like laugh, you can cry, you can exercise, you can even do those cool little um, kickboxing classes with the little hand motions and everything. You can do a variety of things that just basically says, it builds really up, builds really up, and it says, oh! 
that is what a tension releaser is. I am so sorry if I scared you too. The next thing you do is physical, which it means that you get out energy, okay? So all that is for you to be able to get out or even give yourself energy is that you can get enough sleep, you can eat healthy foods, you can limit the different types of bad foods that you eat too. Like, you know, a lot of times you like extra juice and extra soda pop. I won't tell your parents that you're drinking soda pop, but you have to make sure that you're drinking water too so that you can make sure that your body is physically fit to be able to have those good energies that you need in order to be able to have a great and fun filled day and not be so bored and draggy all the time, which I understand sometimes it happens. So the next thing is we want to have the category of spiritual coping mechanisms, right? These are all things centered around what we're going to tie in for our physical and exercise. All the spiritual is it's connecting on a deeper level. It's allowing you to understand and say, self, I know that I am a better person, so let me meditate on these good things. Let me make sure that I am engaging in the great world that was built before us like nature and also, friends, this is so, so, so important. It is reflecting on not just other people, but yourself. Self-reflection makes you be able to say and go back and be like, okay, look, you may have did it this way, but you may have did it that way, but you are still a great person and it allows you to progress and to be able to track that progression as well. So I love these things, friends. And the next thing that we're going to do is limit your settings. That, my friends, is self-care. That means that you have to be able to take the time out away from different people, take your time to go play your game, take your time to go sit outside on the porch, take your time to be able to go do what it is that you like to do and allow you to schedule those times inside of your daily activities. You guys understand it so far? Great. So, the five mental benefits of physical activity, besides having fun, of course, is it helps you be able to manage and help that depression and anxiety that comes up. Exercise is a mood booster. The same way you guys got up and you started feeling all great on the inside again, this is famous for your body's feel-goodness inside of you, and it produces the feelings of happiness. That is great within the cell. We can stop this lesson right here. The next thing it does, it decreases bowel stress levels. It decreases the feelings of being worried. It decreases the feelings of not understanding what to do. And it improves the overall ability to respond to that stress as well. So it tells your body to come back and to refocus. And it helps you before these things actually started taking place inside of your body. So after it goes to your thinking habits, then it goes to your feelings. It stops you way before those in the middle before you get all the way down to your body actions, okay? Now, the next thing that it says is that it increases your self-esteem and your self-confidence. Friend, we know what that means, right? Do you know what that means? All self-esteem is and all self-confidence is, is you understanding and being aware of who you are as a person. It means that in exercising, you can have a good winning streak, you can have a good healthy shape, and those things boost up how you feel about yourself. So I know you guys have won a good game of something before, whether it was Uno, Connect Four, Four Square, it could have been soccer, it could have been anything in the whole wide world that is considered a game to you or something that was challenging and competitive. And I know after you won that game, you felt like, whoo, I am the man or girl of the hour. And I understand that. So friends, having these physical activities help boost up what and who you think of who you are as a person, okay? The next thing physical activity does is help you sleep better. But friends, I will say, make sure you don't do too much physical activity before it's time to go to bed because then it will counteract itself and you will want to stay up and you will be extra, extra alert, okay? So the last thing, friends, it is it boosts your brain. So that means that you're able to have better time to be able to receive the information that you're given, retain it in your head, and to be able to recall it. It helps you learn things, and it helps you remember those things that you learn. I know sometimes we can learn things, and we're like, hey, 
brain, what happened to that information? Because you no longer remember it or know it. But guys, physical activity helps you be able to remember those things that you have learned before. And it helps you give you a creative boost. So that means if you're ever trying to figure out, hey, how do I get from two plus three plus five and all these other different things? It can be in academics for creativity. It can be in writing and drawing and different things, even if you like to make like music. So Miss Erica, she really likes to sing in her house, right? And I really like to make up songs that I like to call on my own leisure time. So those times of me exercising and getting physical activity will help me be able to do those good things. So I want you to think about what are some creative things that you want to do, but you feel like, hey, I don't have enough energy right now to do those things and my brain is not working the way that it needs to. Remember that your physical activity will help you be able to boost that brain activity. So friends, I have this cool thing that I want to do. We're going to get active. Has anyone ever done yoga before? Or do you even know why we would do yoga and talking about physical activity? I know sometimes you may think it's slow and boring, but I got news for you. The importance of yoga for lowering stress is so, 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 so amazing because the different categories that we talked about from tension to physical to spiritual to limit setting, these are all a one-stop shop in yoga. How cool is that? So yoga allows you to stretch. It allows you to move. It allows you to focus, focus on your breath, breathing and meditation. It also allows you to have calming thoughts, okay? And so all these great things is you're able to be able to put these exercising into one great place and for you to be able to say, let me be able to breathe. Let me be able to move and let me be able to get myself back centered so that I can then focus on the positive things of life versus the negative. So remember, guys, exercise makes us and our mood happy. And so, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to stand up together. I want you to then make room for yourself in your area. So make sure you spread apart if there are some friends or family members that are right there with you. And we're going to get active in a cool and new way, friends. And so guess what? Because we are about to go on a bear hunt. So I want you to get excited and be able to make sure that you are ready for this fun adventure in yoga in a new and exciting way. Because remember, yoga is good for your health. And I bet you this, you're going to be trying to figure out how can I do that cool thing again? So friends, remember to use your looking eyes, okay? Use your listening ears to be able to follow when the yoga instructor tells you what to do. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves that I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we've got a special adventure. We're going on a bear hunt. Yes, we're going on a bear hunt by Michael Rosen. It's an amazing poem and we're going to bring it to life with lots of yoga poses. Let's begin by coming up to stand and beginning with a march. Here we go. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide. Take your arms wide, making yourself as huge as you can. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips. We're not scared, are we? No way, shaking our head from side to side. Uh-oh, grass. Bring your feet together and stretch your arms above your head, bringing your palms to touch. 
its long wavy grass, leaning from one side all the way over to the other. Oh dear, we can't go under it. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone, lying as flat as you can, hands under your shoulders and curl your shoulders up. No, we can't go under it. We can't go over it. Come up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes and press your bottoms to the sky. We have to go through it. Coming up to stand, everyone. Now bring your hands to your hips and see if you can lift up one of your legs. Try not to wobble. Now kick your leg forwards and backwards going swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. And let's turn to the other side. Here we go. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Yay, we got there. Let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips. We're not scared, shaking our heads. No way. Uh-oh, a river. Wrap your arms around yourself and shiver. It's a deep, cold river. We can't go under it. Down onto your bellies, everyone. And curl your shoulders up into your snake pose. Mm, we can't go over it. Tuck your toes, hands and knees, and press your bottoms up to the sky. We have to go through it. Now lower all the way down onto your bellies. Oh, it's cold in this river. And we start to swim. We go splashy, sploshy, splashy, sploshy. Well done, everyone. Coming up to stand. Phew! We made it through the river. Let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips and shake your head as you say, we're not scared. No way. Uh-oh. Mud. Lifting up one leg and putting it down. Lifting up the other leg and putting it down. Thick, oozy mud. Hmm. We can't go under it. Coming onto your bellies, everyone. All the way down. Then wriggle up your shoulders. Uh -uh. We can't go over it. Coming up onto hands and knees. Tuck your toes and lift your hips all the way up. We have to go through it. Now, coming up to stand, everyone. We're going to take big, squelchy steps through this mud. Ready? Squelch. And again. Squelch. And again. Squelch. And again. Squelch. Wow, we made it. Coming up to stand. Let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. Wow, what a massive bear. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello, sun. Now bring your hands to your hips as you shake your head and say, we're not scared. No way. Uh-oh, a forest. Coming into tree pose, everyone. One foot on top of the other. Hands together and grow your tree up tall. Hmm, it's a big, dark forest. Oh dear, we can't go under it. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone. Hands under your shoulders and wriggle on under. Uh -uh. We can't go over it. Coming up onto all fours, tuck your toes and press your bottom up to the sky. We have to go through it. Coming up to stand and let's try our tree pose on the other side. <laughs> 
Bring your other foot on top of your foot, using your heel, and bring your hands together. Now grow your big dark forest of trees all the way up and open your branches. Now I wonder if I can blow you trees down and make you stumble and trip. You stay tall and strong and I'll have a go. Here I come. Doopy doopy dee doo. I can't. You're too strong. Well done you. You're amazing. Let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together and reach up to the sun saying, hello sun. Now bring your hands to your hips and turn your head from side to side saying, we're not scared, no way. Uh oh, a snowstorm. Jump your feet wide arms wide and begin to spin. Oh, it's a swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go under it. Coming down onto your bellies, everyone, as flat as you can, hands under your shoulders and lift yourself up. We can't go over it. Coming up onto all fours, tuck your toes and press your hips up into the sky. We have to go through it. Now look between your hands, bend your knees and jump your feet and cross your legs. Yes, well done everyone. Now crisscross your fingers, bring them behind your head and like a washing machine we're going through this snowstorm. Here we go. Wow, well done everyone. Coming up to stand. Come on, let's carry on. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. What a beautiful day. Jump your feet together, reach up to the sun and say, hello sun. Now bring your hands to your hips and shake your head. We're not scared, no way. Uh-oh, a cave. Jump your feet wide, take your arms wide and bring them above your head, coming into your cave pose. It's a damp, gloomy cave. We can't go under it. Coming all the way down onto your knees and onto your bellies. Curl your shoulders up and wriggle under. No, we can't go over it. Tuck your toes, hands and knees and press your hips up to the sky. We have to go through it. Coming up to stand, everyone. It's very damp and drippy, so we tiptoe. Oh, very damp and drippy. What's that? We stop and we put our hands out to feel. Bringing your fingers to your nose. Hmm. One wet, shiny nose. Hmm. We take our fingers to our ears. Two big, furry ears. Hmm. Then we cup our hands and put them over our eyes. Two big goggly eyes. Then we lower our hands and we hear the most enormous roar. Coming down to your knees, everyone. After three, a big roar, sticking your tongue out. Ready? One, two, three. It's a bear! Coming up, everyone, quick, tiptoe back through the cave. Oh, now through the snowstorm, crossing our legs, crisscrossing our fingers behind our heads. Woo hoo, woo hoo, woo hoo, woo woo. Back through the forest, coming into your tree pose, one foot on top of the other, your hands together, grow up tall. Oh, try not to wobble. Back through the thick, oozy mud, coming to stand and squelch. And the 
other way. Squatch! Now we need to swim back through the river. Coming onto your bellies, everyone. And swim. Splashy, sploshy, splashy, sploshy. Now that long wavy grass. Coming up to stand. Finding your balance. Here we go. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. And the other way. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. We get back to our front door, coming down to our knees. And take your leg out to the side. Bring your hand up to the sky. We open the front door. Ooh. In we go. We run inside, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the front door. Coming back down the stairs, back to the door, on our knees, taking our other leg out to the other side this time, reaching your arm up and close the front door. Ooh. Coming back up to stand, everyone, and run, 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 up the stairs, into our bedrooms, where we get into our beds. Oh, down we go, lying on our backs. Resting our arms down, we pull the covers all the way up, snuggling ourselves under, and we say to ourselves, we are never going on a bear hunt again. Wow, <sighs> friends, give yourself a round of applause, friends. That was truly amazing. So friends, you can stay right where you are in your sitting position. So friends, how does it feel to have been able to engage in some great physical activity? Let me hear, how was it? Yes, yes, I do agree. It makes you feel so good on the inside, friends. So remember, you have what it takes to deal with those negative feelings of worry, anxiety, and so much more. Whenever you're feeling down, get up and get moving, friends. So until the next time that we're able to be here again, I want to encourage you to remember to continue to get and stay active like our good friend here, Mr. Forrest Gump. It's been great, friends. I'll see you next time.